Hi, this is Datapoint, and I'm Matthew, and this is my Century Arms AP5. I highly recommend it. It has the Century Arms claw mount with a Scalar Works riser, and it's got a Hollow Sun 507C on top of it. And nobody makes an aftermarket co witness RMR footprint mount for the MP5. I could only find a co witness mount with the RMS Shield footprint for some reason and that's why I was very excited when I found this online this is the Kuma Elite co-witness for the RMR footprint and before I bought it I did attempt to research it but I could only find information that the creator put out and as you can see here it is very textured and this is something I would think you do not want because of the inconsistency of the surface as well as the nubs on it that hold the site in place, they seem to be way overcoated. And I, I'm pretty sure this isn't any kind of anodizing or any other kind of hard coating, as you will see in a moment. And this is my Swamp Box RMR Picatinny adapter. In my humble opinion, this is what a mount should look like. There's a smooth texture, and the dowels are not coated in any way, they're just pure metal. And as you can see here, I dabble in 3D printing. And if you listen closely, it sounds a lot like the PLA material that is used for 3D printing. It, it might even be plastic. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying that's what it reminds me of. And next, here is the complete email exchange I had with Kuma Elite, where I started off asking what type of material it was made of. I never got a direct answer to my question, and when I asked about a refund, uh, I never responded to this day. And that's it. There you have it. I have not mounted this thing on my AP5 at all. I was too shocked by its look and feel. And even when I opened the package it, it came in, there was a, a strong smell of fresh paint that wafted in my face. For all I know, it probably works great, but I seriously doubt it. I regret buying this mount. I should have known it was too good to be true when I saw how much it cost. But when I found an RMR coat with this mount for the MP5, I let my excitement get the best of me. I guess I will just have to learn my holdovers for now. At any rate, I hope you learned something from my mistake. I just wanted to make a video for anyone else who might want to research this item and give them a data point of their own to help make a decision. Hope you got something out of this. Take care.